Hey guys, Peeps 404 here, and today I'm making a video about action keys, uh, and what action keys are, and how to enable or disable them as you wish. So these are your uh, action keys. They are usually on uh, notebooks um, or laptops, and they are usually in replacement of the function keys. So as you can see on my computer on the furthest side, I have my Wi-Fi uh, or airplane mode enable and disable. Then I have media controls, so I have uh, skip forward, play pause, skip backward, volume up, down, and mute. And then I have just one plain key. And then I have my display, and I have brightness control and a help key. So these, by default, these keys are used um, without any other presses. Would say I needed to press the key F11 to put something into full screen mode, which I will demonstrate now. So I will open Google Chrome. Uh, it's just up here, so I'll bring that down for you. And say I wanted to open uh, in full screen mode. So if I click F11, nothing happens. So when function keys are enabled, you must press function and then F11 to uh, enable that key, and then function F11 to uh, to get out of full screen. So to some people this might be a bit of a pain, but um, it doesn't bother me much. I don't use the function keys very much other than function F11 for um, going between full screen and not full screen mode. But to some people this might be an annoyance. So I will, today I will show you how to disable action keys uh, in Windows 10 uh, through the BIOS. So what we are going to do to get to the BIOS, click on the I now and I uh, will leave a link in the description to my video on how to access the BIOS and UEFI settings in Windows 10. So let's just get right into that. So start menu, power, restart. So, from here, once we get to the screen, we are going to click Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, UEFI Firmware Settings, Change Settings in your PC's UEFI Firmware. We will click this and then restart. So while my computer is restarting, I will just go over on how to get to that menu. So when, um... When you are pressing restart, you will press the shift key and hold it until that menu comes up. As you're pressing restart, you can push it before you hit restart or as you press restart. And then you just hold it until that menu comes up. So now we have our startup menu. So as you can see, if I just pan the camera up and over. We have system information as F1. F2 is system diagnostics. F9, boot device option. It's F10, bio setup. And F11 is system recovery. Uh, so I'll just zoom back out here. And so we are going to click F. 10, so, no, so you don't have to click function here, so you just click F10 to get to the BIOS setup, and here we are. So from here, uh, you're going to use the arrow keys to navigate, and go to uh, system configuration. You can see at the top, so left and right, we are going to go to system configuration. And now you have, if you go down, you will see action keys mode. This might be different on some computers, but something uh, relevant to action keys and uh, item specific help on the right hand side says disabled requires pressing a function key plus F1 through 12 to activate action keys enabled uh, requires pressing only F1 through F12 to activate function keys which is enabled right now so we will click enter disabled and now we're going to go to exit and press enter and then save changes Almost booted into Windows 10. All right. I'm just just a drink of water. I'm not going to check my password. So we are now booted into Windows 10, and if I press one of the action keys, nothing happens. There is no volume changing, 
the light on the airplane uh, key that would turn orange is not turning orange. Pressing any keys do not do anything. Uh, but now if I were to press function and any of these keys, we would be able to change the volume, which you cannot see, but on the top left corner of my screen here, you can see as I press, we have volume control, but without function, it'll fade out and I have no control. So that's it for this video. Um, remember to like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, but who didn't wouldn't like a video like this? Comment below if you'd like to see other tech, uh, tech videos like this. And if you have any questions about technology, I might be able to help you with. So yeah, see you guys later. Peepto404 out. Peace.